Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally going to be checking out the third figure in pretty much yeah, the year-long Target exclusive collect-to-build McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Wave for Starro, and this is all featuring the Crime Syndicate, the, the more Rebirth-ish Syndicate, right? This is again figure number three. Owl Man, right? We've had a look at uh, Ultraman. We've had a look at Superwoman. And now we got old Owl Man. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. It's the standard packaging. You're going to have Owl Man on the side of the box. Crime Syndicate. It's the one storyline, the more modern ish Crime Syndicate storyline, where it, it did involve a different type of Starro. Here are all the characters, like I said in the wave. I'm going to go ahead and say figure number four is probably Power Ring. Let's just say that. It could be Johnny Quicker and Atomica, but it's only one. I'd, I'd probably go with that one to be on the safe side, right? And then, of course, here is the barcode. Now, these are starting to hit Target store shelves now. I actually picked this up at San Diego Comic-Con. Entertainment Earth was doing a thing with Target, and they were kind of having them early at, at the show if you wanted to. So I didn't find them in the Target store on my way down to Comic-Con, so... Yeah, I just picked them up there. Easy peasy. But, yes, they are out now. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, inverted cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Crime Syndicate's Owlman, from the Target exclusive year-long collect-to-build wave for Starro. And while I got all you starfish monsters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse videos. And I'm having a lot of fun with DC Comics right now. In all honesty, Marvel's kind of taking a backseat a little bit, right? It's not enjoying their films. I'm kind of going back to a place in the 90s where I really liked DC Comics, from the comic books to the animated offering to the movies. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. DC's a little bit all over the place, but with a lot of the McFarlane Toys figures, I am having fun collecting these, and I think you're really going to uh, like this Owl Man. So, first and foremost, with all of the figures so far in this year-long wave, you get a really cool Starro attachment. It's like a rubbery piece, but the cool thing is, is that they have these really nice eyes. Not a whole lot of paint to them, if at any, right? Not a little bit of a wash. But now we have three, and each of the eyes is painted a little bit differently. Like the new one is off to the side, the original one is straight in the middle, and the well, I think Superwoman one, it's uh, kind of up and down. So I definitely appreciate that each one is a little bit different. And then you get the big old tentacles, right? Now, these right here are, one, they're very well sculpted. They are a solid purple piece, but then they have a nice different colored purple that's washed in between all the line work. And on top of that, it does have a bendy wire inside. It's not the strongest bendy, but it bends to and fro. Now, inside the suckers, I would have totally liked some paint, a little bit more to it. At least it has this bit of a wash, so I'll give them that. And then you can grab the rest of your Starro pieces. This is, uh, again, number three. We uh, Actually, no, these don't go here. These are not the legs. <laughs> I was getting all ready to uh, have him stand up. No, these are the arms, technically, we'll just say. So, we got a lot of pieces so far. We got one more to go. It's starting to look like every anime in existence, right? With all the, <laughs> the tentacles. Owlman's like, get me out of here. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited to see how big this guy is going to get. But, with Owlman himself, I'm just going to tell you right here and now, this is the best figure out of the Star wave thus far. Plus, I really like Crisis on Infinite Earths, that old Justice League movie. But James Woods voiced him, and I love Owlman, and I love the design of this costume. And this is a very fun, very cool looking figure. It's got a lot of textures, a lot of design work. This is an original figure, through and through. I really like that he's got all the design elements all over his armor, his legs. These, the boots, are very cool, including the joints and the ankle, which I'll show you in just a second. Down to his owl gloves and his talons. It's all really well sculpted. Original sculpt, can't beat it. That is why McFarlane is really killing it right now. He does a lot of original stuff. The cape is excellent. I love the way it has like a swoosh to it. It's nice and heavy. It can help him stand once you get him all kinds of poses. He's got peggles on the bottom of his feet. And yeah, it really doesn't hinder him. It moves with the arms. 
the head. You got a lot of articulation. He doesn't have much of an ab crunch at all. Let's just point that out. He will spin at the waist. He'll spin at the abdomen. The legs can kick out. He's got double jointed knees. And just to kind of show you right here again, the pins, the new type of ankle joints that they have fit flawlessly within the boot. Gives him a lot of rotation in the feet. He's got toe articulation. So yes, you do get a lot of movement out of this guy. The costume itself is pretty cool. He's a very cool character. Again, how I see Owlman voiced by James Woods. Like crazy James. Like James Woods as an actor, I don't care about him as a person. Let's just point that out right then and there. And then you have all three so far of the new crime syndicate. Now, in kind of talking about these figures before, Ultraman it really wasn't sold on him. Superwoman, she fared a little bit better, but Owlman is top-notch. He is my favorite, but now having them all together, they do work a lot better as a team, but there's some walk going on uh, in amongst some of the figures, we'll just say. And if you have any number of Batmans from McFarlane's DC Multiverse line, like this one, that doesn't really fit, but we'll say the three Jokers, he's around the same size, so I definitely dig that. Now, a couple qualms I will say about this figure is that extra hands would have been ideal in this situation. Just because in kind of posing around, he just has open hands. He can't hold anything. He can't do anything. When he's going up against Batman, some owl orangs, whatever he has, some kind of owl gadgets would have made this that much better of a figure because it's really not the complete package. I'll tell you all day, it's a great looking figure, great articulation, all that kind of stuff, if you're into McFarlane. But it kind of loses that fun of being able to pose him or have him in a battle on your shelf. You know what I mean? So in that sense, yes, extra accessories, hands would have been ideal. In terms of the scalature with Ultraman and Superwoman, that's really how I see these characters. That's really how I see Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman as it is. Superman's the tallest, followed by Batman, and Wonder Woman can go either way, usually around Batman's height. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys. I'm not doing it again. It's just the Owl Man from Targets. You can go to Targets and find him. You have to like 50 million descriptive words in order to tell you about this wave. I'm really excited to complete Starro. Curious to see what the last figure will be. And hopefully it comes out soon so we can put the old Starro together. So, you've heard my thoughts. So now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if in fact it does turn out to be powering, right, for the last figure, well, we definitely need Johnny Quick and Atomica, right? you got to complete the teams. But Farland's usually pretty good about that. So, fingers crossed. And when we do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.